to lab seven. In lab seven, we make the second level for the game and create the title screen. So in level two, we make a more difficult um, maze for your ship to navigate. Level two exists on frame four. A lot of your elements are already there because you made keyframes over and copied them over. So now what I want to do is make a timer appear on layer four. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to lock this layer. Save my game. Now I'm going to lock my timer layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a frame here on layer four. So I right click and I click um, insert frame. I come back on layer three. I right click and I insert a blank keyframe. So on this frame, on is this no timer. I don't need a timer on my instruction page for level two. So now I'm going to come over here on frame four. So now I got to find this. Um, I got to find this text and replace it with the wind. So what I do is I hold down the control key, hit F. Now I put on here title two. Title underscore two, and I'm going to replace that with win. Going to click find next, and there it is. I'm just going to click replace. And I'm going to close it out. So now, when my ship hits the goal, it's going to go to the windscreen on this frame. So now it's time for us to add our title two screen. Okay. So now I'm going to minimize my actions frame, lock my actions panel, and I'm going to unlock, um, go to my frame three, go to my text here, and I'm going to insert a great blank free keyframe. And I'm going to drag over my title. Make sure it's unlocked. So now I put it at the top and I center it. I click outside the stage and I go click my text tool. Now I reset this dynamic to static. Now I choose some kind of a, a font. Make it 18. Now I come down. I change it to a dark color. Make sure this says device fonts, not anti-alias for readability. Okay. Remember? We have the newer version. Make sure our paragraph is aligned left. Now I'm going to select the, the text from the copy code. Come down from nine, line 98 through 100. Right click copy, right click paste. Oops. <laughs> Copy from line 98 to 100, right click copy, come back to Pirate Ship Peril, right click paste. 
Now I make sure that the text tool isn't selected. My selection tool is selected. Now I can move this where I want it to go. Now I'm going to align it to the stage, right? I click, go to my window, click uh, align, go center. Make sure that align to stage button selected. So now I'm going to make sure I don't have any text fields, any extra ones I don't need. So just click in frame three. I don't see any extra blue floaties, but if I did, all I do is click on the blue floaty and click delete. Now of course I'm going to need the start button. So I lock my text layer, unlock my button layer, click in frame 3, come over here to my start button. I grab my start button, drag it on, then I name the instant start button. And hit enter. Now I want to align it to the stage, so I click my Align button, then I click Center Align. I like to put it on the bottom, you don't have to, I just click there. Now I'm going to lock this layer, and I'm going to unlock the code layer, and I'm going to go to frame 1 and copy that code. I'm going to go right click Control Select All, right click Copy. I'm going to minimize this. I come on frame three. I'm going to open up my action script, right click paste. And of course, it's not going to go to level one, it's going to go to level two. So I change that one to a two. And then I'm all set. No file save. Now I want to make sure this works, so what do I do? I check my syntax. Now I go clear to the end, and now I add some code. I type in clear interval. And I put interval. A semicolon. What this does is it resets my uh, uh, timer to zero. Clears out the old number I have in there. Okay, now I'm ready to test my game. Now, it's not going to take me to a win or lose screen yet because I haven't built it yet, but it should uh, play right. So I click my start button, I play my game. So now there's no frame to take it to, so it just sits there. So now make sure your level 2 title screen and game screen work right. Lock all your layers in your game main root, and then close the file. And save the file. Welcome to lab 8, the last lab, right? In this lab we're going to make win and lose screens for the end of your game. What is a win screen and a lose screen? The win screen comes up when you win, and the lose screen comes up when you lose. Now I'm going to put blank keyframes on layer 5. So I click on layer 5, then I hold down my control key, and I drag all the way down to last one. Then I hold down my, I click my F7 function key, and that gives me blank things, uh, blank keyframes and all my frames. Or you can do them individually if you'd rather. I do the same thing on on uh, layer 6. And I hold my control key down and I drag down over all these. 
Once again, I could do my function F7 key to put blank keyframes in all those. Or you can do them individually once again with right click or go to view menu and put timeline, blank keyframe. It's up to you. So now I'm going to lock all my layers. Unlock my code layer. I'm going to come on lay, layer 5. And I'm going to name this, uh, this layer Lose. I click on layer 6. And I'm going to name this layer Win. Oops, got to capitalize that Hadley. There we go. And we're doing this on the code layer. So now I'm going to lock my layer, I unlock my background layer, and I'm going to come on layer 5. And I'm going to put on here the end background. Drag it and drop it. I'm going to line it up, line it to the left, line it to the top. Close this out. So I'm going to lock my background layer. Now I'm going to add my lose text. So I'm going to unlock my text layer. I come here on my fifth frame. And I'm going to go into my project copy code. Oh, first I got to, I'm going to go click text. Then I'm going to go click my, uh, what I'd like. I want to, um, that looks fine to me. So then I'm going to come to my copy code. And I'm going to come to my next stuff. I lose screen text, 104 to 105. Right click, copy. Come back to my code here and click this and then right click paste. Now I'm going to resize it. And I'm going to relocate it where I want it to go. I don't like the color so I'm going to change it. I'm going to highlight, go control, I'm going to highlight everything. Click my T. Click my color, click the color I want, then um, click my selection tool. Now I'm going to align that text, so I'm going to click in that text box again. And I click my align tab, and I can click center. And then I'm going to lock this layer, and I'm going to unlock my button layer. And I click on the frame. I'm going to grab the play again button. I'm going to align it to the stage. Just going to center it. And then I'm going to name this instance play again. Capital P underscore capital A. Click enter. Of course, now I want to enter. Of course, now I want to enter code. So I un I lock my button layer, unlock my code layer. Now I'm going to go copy this off of um, my copy code. Go from line 109 to 112. Right click copy. And then I come back over here to the pirate ship and I come open up my code. It doesn't look like it's selected here. Come up to make sure that my code layer is selected. Open up my code, right click paste. And you make sure you paste it in and it's important where you put things. So you make sure that you're, that you put it here on your frame five. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we clear the interval. We want to clear out the timer. So we put clear interval. We'll put our parentheses and our semicolon. I should click my 
um, check syntax, everything's okay. If it isn't, just double check your spelling, double check all that stuff. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to start on my windscreen. So I'm going to click on background, unlock that, and I'm going to right click. I'm going to click uh, clear keyframe. So I should put the background on it. So I'm going to right click and insert keyframe. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the text and button layers. I'm going to right click. Uh, I'm going to lock my background, unlock my text, right click that, click uh, clear keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. Same on button. Unlock button, come up here, right click key, uh, clear keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. So now I'm going to change that text on the wind frame. So I'm going to lock my uh, lock my button, open up my text, click on this here, come to my copy code, go get my wind text. See, we're done pretty much, right? So, oops. Right click copy. Come back over here. Click my text tool, select everything. Right click paste. Then um, I click my t the selection tool, that's done. So now I lock my layer and I come up to my code layer. I'm going to copy from my uh, five, uh, level 5 code so I open it up. I select everything, right click copy, I'm going to minimize this, click on the next frame, open this up again, right click paste. So I decided I wanted to change the color. What I did was I highlighted everything, came down to my properties here, T, came down to my properties, click white because it's hard to see. So there you go. So now I play the game to see if it wins. So now I gotta let my timer come count down and make this lose. I click my play again button. Does it start again? So now I try my level two. I check to see if my windscreen play again button wins and I'm done. Now I click publish my game. And now we're going to go on to the more advanced level. Some of you are going to hand this in, that's okay, but some of us want to do the more advanced stuff, right? Okay, check your work. Make sure that your project's on track. Make sure you have SWF HTML file um, and your regular file, okay? Lock all your layers in your game's root and save your game. You're up to a challenge. We can add more layers. Now if I want to so now if I want to do the challenge, I'm going to drag my win and lose screens over, aren't I? So I hold my, my my shift key, my control key, and I drag down layers, oops. Five and six. I just drag the group of them over two spaces. Now I'm going to make blank keyframes in all the layers except the background layer. Function of seven. 
So now I copy frame, um, my layer three and four. Hold down the control key. Right click copy, copy frames. You click on frame six, right click paste frames. So make sure you select those before you paste them. So now I'm gonna to have to change my names. I could change this name to, change this name to title three. And change this one to level three. Click enter. Now I'm gonna lock my code layer. I'm gonna empty, open up my text layer. And I click on layer five, and I'm going to um, click out in the this area. Delete this level two, and I'm gonna put in my level three title. And I'm going to um, align it. Close that out. Now I'm going to change this text. T. Select everything. Then put in whatever you'd like. So you can put whatever you'd like. I said, now you've found an excellent place to hide, but now it's time to go home and spend your treasure. So now I just align it. It's now going to go to frame six, and I'm going to replace the maze. It's going to click, uh, put this, uh, click on the maze, click delete, put up here, maze, th level three maze. Just click on it and I'm going to align it. Center it, center it. There we go. Now I'm going to click on the maze. Then I'm going to name the instance maze. Now I lock this layer. Open up the code layer. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to open up the goal layer first. I want to make sure that goal is where it's supposed to be. Come over here. Yeah, that's pretty much where it's supposed to be. Or if it isn't, just drag it where it should be. Lock your goal. Open up your code. Go to layer 4. Okay, change your action code. And you don't want it to go stop and win on anymore. You want it to go to stop and level at uh, title three. So I'll put title three in here. So now I want to make sure this that this um, in title three moves to title four uh, to game three. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to click in my uh, action script on this screen and open it up and send it to level three. So now I'm going to run the game. Here we go, level three. Comes up right. Well, I guess I lose this one, but you see it plays, so. If yours plays, you did well. So save this with a new title. I'm going to put two on the end. Then publish it and turn it into Miss Hadley. 
I would just turn in the I would just zip the whole file and turn in the whole file. You're done. Congratulations on a successful completion of Pirate Peril.